Good afternoon and welcome to a day off here in the Fletcher household. I have a lot to do today. The time is... I don't have anything to tell me the time. I think it's around 12 o'clock, I think it's around midday. I've got to write a lot because I'm currently writing a book. This house is also an app. This is my office and it is a complete and utter mess. That's a bunch of clothes that I'm getting rid of. They've all been washed. I need to fold them up and put them in boxes to give to the charity shop and I also want to decorate a little bit for Halloween because I'm not actually spending Halloween in the country this year I'm away on holiday with my family but nothing makes me happier than Halloween and decorating my house for Halloween um, but I only really get Sundays to do that so I've sort of half decorated for autumn but I want to get a few more decorations out the front of my house because I have like witch legs and spell books and silly random stuff like that and I want to film another video aside from this one um because this will just be like a fun day at home with me type vlog which may actually bleed into a weekly vlog because i filmed none of the caucasian chalk circle rehearsal process which is the show that i'm currently rehearsing for um so i want to film some of that this week so it might all be incorporated into one thing um but yes i do just want to film a sit down vlog because i've got a bunch of ideas some of which have been sent in by you um some of which were voted for by you on instagram if you want to have a hand in voting and things like that and please follow me on instagram i'm just carrie hope fletcher plain and simple um so yeah lots to do come with me but first we are going for a trip up into the loft Let there be light. Da, 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 da. This is my loft. It's also a bit of a mess. One day I'll sort it out. But I am looking for that box over there. Oh, are you in for the day? Oh no? No? What's up, boy? Am I not giving you enough attention? No? You're not getting enough attention? You're not. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm out the front of my house. I've already got my little witch's bunting up, which is falling apart. It's about two years old now. I'm from Sainsbury's and it gets blown about a lot in the wind. So it's having a bit of a moment. Um, but I've got Mr. Pumpkin there. I've got a tiny little pumpkin there um, but I've just put up this I've got roses out the front of my house which are amazingly still in bloom um, but I've got these eyeball roses and I didn't know what to do with them because they felt a little bit weird inside my house um, but I've got this trellis that this rose is slowly growing towards I can't wait until it's long enough so that I can start um, tying it to that but um, this <laughs> I just thought I'd use it for these eyeball eyeball roses I think they're great Just making dinner i've got the gilmore girls on i started watching the gilmore girls during lockdown and i just stopped watching for no particular reason i think life just got busy again and i just wasn't watching anything um so i've waxed that on i'm feeling very autumnal joel bought an air fryer i've never used or owned an air fryer before today is the first time this thing is cool i'm converted and joel mentioned to his dad that we um uh we got an air fryer so his dad sent over uh, Jules' own air fryer cookbook. Uh, this isn't the air fryer that we have. We have a tower 
air fryer. Um, but bless him, Joel has been like kitting out this kitchen. He bought this little like spice rack thing. Um, he bought the Nespresso pod like tray. He's just great. <laughs> He's just so great. And I bought all the autumnal stuff the other day, including these really cute, witchy autumnal oven mitts. And I bought them because that one looks like Edgar. Uh, speaking of Edgar, I'm assuming you want to see him because everyone wants to see him. Here he is. Here is the main man himself. Hey boy. Hey boy, are you having a nice afternoon? Do you want a tummy rub? Yeah? Oh yeah, big tummy rub. Look at that. Big old squashy belly. Yeah. So yeah, um, Joel is in Crew, which is where he is from, but he has an Amdram company that he, um, I mean, he's just a ridiculously busy human. He does eight shows a week, and then every Sunday, and when I say every Sunday, I mean every Sunday for the last 14 years, he has driven the three and a half hours back to crew to direct and teach and sometimes perform in Amdram shows in his hometown, and then drives the three and a half hours back to London to be in London for the Monday show. I mean, it's just wild. Um, so that's where he is. It is... 20 to 8 right now so he will be home in maybe like two and a half hours three hours i'm getting dinner ready i'm gonna have some i'll save his portion for him for when he gets back we are slowly making our way through the disney movies in order last night was dumbo when he gets back i might see if he fancies bambi i've only seen bambi once and i can't even remember when it was um i hadn't really seen dumbo much either and i still haven't seen the new dumbo Joel was very enthusiastic about the, the new Dumbo. He said it made him cry when he watched it. So I'm excited to see it. But first, Bambi. It's been really nice going through all the classics. I did some writing today. And I want to film another video tonight. Aside from this one. I still haven't done that. So I'm going to sort out dinner. And then I'm on it. Right, let's have a look-see then. Ooh. That's looking good. That is looking good. Good morning. I'm in Borough for rehearsals in my gorgeous new Lucy and Yak scarf, which I bought and nabbed straight away because I knew that they'd sell out quickly. The world has a very weird, eerie feeling this morning. It's a Monday morning, but it's a bank holiday because today is the Queen's funeral. Um, it is 9.23 in the morning. I'm on my way to get some breakfast from Pret. Usually I've been having breakfast pre-prepared, but I just haven't been very prepared <laughs> recently. So I'm popping to Pret. Um, but yeah, there's a very strange hush that's fallen over London. Um, most businesses are closed. In fact, will Prep be, even be open? I don't know. Um, let's find out. Um, but most businesses are closed, but we are still rehearsing because we only have a limited amount of time to get this show up and running by October 1st, which is our first preview. So, but London is very strangely quiet. Vlogging. Here he is, Shivra Beru. Hey How are you doing? Ready for another day in the fun factory. Do it like it's um, like MTV Cribs. Like, hey, welcome to our rehearsal room. Pop cool occasion, chalk circle. Come and see. I love that you did that next to the bins. <laughs> really glam. Shall, shall I be like him? Yeah, so glam. That's the thumbnail. Go. Right, hang away. And action. Hey, I'm Shiv. I'm in the cast of Caucasian Chalk Circle. Come and see our rehearsal room. Come on. <laughs> this looks like the naughty corridor when we're sent when we get things wrong. Is 
Good morning. The first thing I did when I got here was break the nose piece off my glasses. So I've had to super glue it back together, put it on the shelf, which means everything's just going to be a bit fuzzy for this morning's rehearsal. But I've got a little hot shot from Prep to keep me going. We'll do a little fo vocal and physical warm up and then uh, we are starting from page 43 in the script and we are just sort of staggering through and proving to ourselves that we do know what we're doing. Good morning. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Caucasian Chalk Circle is hard. Vocally, physically more so than anything else. And when you watch it, you're probably gonna go, why? But when you're in rehearsals and you're having to repeat scenes over and over again, I do a lot of walking and a lot of like slow-mo running. And my body feels <laughs> wrecked. So wrecked. I posted on my Instagram yesterday that if you, uh, if you come to see the Caucasian Chalk Circle, my step count of 15,500 steps will make sense. <laughs> but we've got a 9.30 start today for me and Shiv Riberu, who plays my brother and my husband. People play multiple characters. So we have a little rehearsal this morning at half nine to ten just to go through one of our small scenes. And then we are back into staggering through the entire show. So that is the plan. And I keep meaning to film more, but I am on stage for the entirety of Act One, so I just never get a chance to pick up my camera and whisper a little aside to you, so I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Welcome to our little green room in the dungeon. Here we are. It's a really nice little space to have. <clears throat> and we've got biscuits, you know. It's Friday, so I bought in some Krispy Kremes just to sort of us through the day it's been a very long week and um it's not over yet we are rehearsing saturday tomorrow um but i just felt like it's needed saturday we're only rehearsing 10 till 2 so this is our last like full day 10 till 6 so um yeah just felt like some crispy creams would get everyone through the day a little sugar rush a little sugar high doing working this, this out yeah okay cool <laughs> let's go, go. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Who do you play? Why? What were we just doing? Hello, my name is Nicola King Adar. I am in the Caucasian Wait, Chalk Circle. you've gone into like CBBC presenter mode. Because <laughs> I'm a CBBC <laughs> presenter, baby. Ah, okay, go on. <laughs> um, uh, I play, who do I play? I play Simon Chichava plus Ensemble. That's where I'm at. And uh, we were just doing... <laughs> go on. We were just doing a TikTok. Um, <laughs> my mind, you tell it to It falls. <laughs> Okay, now tell, tell everyone how we know each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they're currently on page 102. I am not in until 119 in Act 2. Um, so I've just had a costume fitting. My costume's really cool. I wear um, a big orange jumpsuit. So I've been wearing jumpsuits in rehearsals just to so get a feel of what the costume's going to be like and what I'm going to be wearing and how well I can move around. Um, but yeah, I've just been looking over my lines. I've kind of set up like a little office space over here with a cup of tea. So yeah, I've just been going through my lines because I have like a big chunk to say um, in the second act. But aside from that, act two is pretty chill for me. Act one is all about Grusha's journey. Act two is all about Azdak's journey. Um, so, and then it all kind of like ties together, both their journeys tie together at the end in episode five, The Chalk Circle. So yeah, I've just been going through my lines, but also I have a book to write and the deadline the deadline is November 1st, but I go away on holiday with my family on October 23rd, the day after we finish this. So ideally I wanna hand it in before then, just first draft, but ideally I wanna hand that in before I go so that I don't have to worry about it whilst I'm on holiday. Quite a chill day here at Chalk Circle. Yesterday was like chaos in the room. I was doing everything that is in my journey. We were also learning like the final dance. There's like a final dance in the show. Yesterday was so chaotic that I got home. Um, we finished at seven, so I got home about half eight. I uh, cooked some food, ate my food, had a bath, and then just got into bed at 10 o'clock, which is so unlike me. Um, I didn't get to see Joel at all because his show doesn't finish until half 10 and I was out 
like a light. So he came home and was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> we'll chat tomorrow then. Um, so I'll, I'll hopefully see him tonight, unless the same thing happens. But I think Good morning. I am on my way to the Rose Theatre in Kingston for the very first time in my life. I've never seen anything there, I've never performed there. This is the very first time I'm travelling to Kingston as an area, let alone a theatre. It requires quite a large commute, which I will be doing every day. It's a bus, two tubes and a train. I'm currently on the train, so I'm on the last leg. Um, I got the 9.12 train, which should get me in at 9.40. I need to be there at 10. So it's 20 minutes just to scope out around the theatre, maybe grab a coffee. I've got some porridge and a croissant in my bag down there. Really hope I'm on the right train because there's no one around. Good morning. Welcome to Kingston, Hampton, Wick, Teddington, Fourwell, Hampton, Kempton Parks. Look at that pret. That's got to be one of the prettiest prets I've ever seen. That, my friends, is an absolute win. There it is. There's home for the next month. Oh, right next to our wagon mamas, that's good. Look who it is. Look who it is. In his signature orange. Morning, Shiv. Morning. Morning, Adiola. Morning, babe. All right, all right, all right. This is Katie, our company manager, slash stage manager. Woohoo! In the best trousers. Are they, is that, are they trousers or dungarees? Yes! <laughs> God, on camera for five minutes and she's flashing me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my dressing room at the Rose Theatre. This is it. I've got a little shower in the corner there. Little uh, pink chair over there. That's my costume over there. I don't know if you're allowed to see my costume actually yet. We've been here for a couple of days now. Um, I didn't film for the first couple of days of being here just because tech is always a little bit stressful. Um, finding your feet in a theatre as well, a new space. Um, is always um, a little bit daunting and also Kingston is very far away from where I live. Um, it takes me about two hours to get here. Um, the commute is quite a lot but the run's only for three weeks so it makes sense to kind of continue commuting instead of just finding a place to stay in Kingston. Also I've got a cat who needs looking after. But yeah I love the Rose Theatre. It's such a great space. It's so much bigger than I expected it to be. It's about 800 seats um, which I knew but I still thought Everyone was sort of downplaying it, being like, no, it's quite small, it's quite intimate, but then you get on stage and it feels massive. So um, that was a nice surprise. Um, the area it's in is lovely as well. There's a river behind the theatre. Um, there's lots of like nice restaurants and shops and a big shopping centre as well. Um, the station's about a nine, ten minute walk from the theatre as well, so that's really easy. It's been lovely sort of getting to know the area and getting to know the, the building. Um, and everyone who works here as well. I'm slowly trying to learn everyone's names and um, I've not been to the cafe front of house yet, but apparently they do like a little sort of deal type thing for anyone who works in the building. So I'm gonna do that at some point. Um, but yeah, here we are at the Rose Theatre Kingston. I went and got myself a mug today, which I got mainly just to annoy Joel because I always say that I'm always right. So I found a mug that says official member, always right club. And then on the inside, on this side, I can't turn it around, I've got tea in it at the moment, so I don't wanna spill it, but it says yes, always. Also, other exciting thing, um, I was very kindly gifted this perfume from Rook Perfumes um, by the lovely Nadim, who Joel worked with on School of Rock. He's got his own perfume company, so he gave me this, which is Flaming Dandelions. And oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm wearing it now. And it reminds me of something that I just can't put my finger on, but whenever I smell it, it takes me back to being a kid, but I can't figure out why. Like, I can't figure out what the smell is. But I love it, and so I'm gonna use this as my Grusha perfume. For those of you that don't know, I pick a perfume for every role that I play, um, just so that when I then smell that perfume in years to come, it will take me back to this job. Um, just sort of that scent memory type thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this one as my Grusha Fashion Abdier perfume. Flaming Dandelion also feels like an apt name because it's just this idea of something, something so harsh like fire and something like a dandelion, which is so like, you know, graceful and soft and vulnerable. And those two like 
opposite things coming together to create something that sounds pretty badass, like a flaming dandelion, which I feel like is very, very Grusha Fashionadzie, this sort of young, vulnerable woman who's taken on the challenge of another person's child while she's fleeing a country that's war-torn, climbs mountains and crosses glaciers, and which is awesome. So, flaming dandelion, I feel like that's a perfect Grusha scent and smells great too. So yeah, the days are long uh, for tech. Um, at the moment we've been starting sort of later in the day at like 12.30 and we'll, we'll keep going until 10 o'clock in the evening. But um, tomorrow it's a long tech day. We'll do three tech sessions. So we'll start at 9.30 in the morning and we won't finish until 10 in the evening. Lots of stuff has been cut. So we're sort of implementing them into tech as we go. And I'm also still trying to write a novel. So I'm gonna carry on doing that. Lots going on, but all is good.